Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to extract gold from black sand or in black tibber. As everyone knows, there are many types of gold dust or tibber, but there are also many processes for extracting gold from gold dust or tibber. In this video, I will explain to you a very good and extremely simple way to determine if what you found in the soil is worth working on for long hours. To ensure you don't miss any step of the process, please watch the video until the end. Don't forget to support us by subscribing and pressing the like button so it can spread and reach many others interested in the field. Thank you. I have a small amount of gold dust. Is a powder of gold or what is called gold sand or tibber like a sample to study? The first thing I will do is weigh it. Tibber gold refers to the raw material from which gold is extracted. Tibber is essentially gold mixed with other metals and impurities. The material is in the form of powdered gold that resembles the texture of fine sand. It may also come in the form of a black stone that resembles salt or gunpowder and it sparkles when exposed to direct sunlight or when light is shown on it in a dark place. Many people also refer to it as ground gold. To extract gold from the raw material, more than one method can be used. The methods vary depending on the types of deposits attached to the raw material. Despite the differences in methods, there are two fundamental steps in this process, obtaining the raw material and separating the gold from this raw material. When prospecting for gold, these two processes are carried out at the site of the deposits, where deposits or mineral veins are prospected underground in the same way as coal mining. Prospectors follow the mineral veins by digging a vertical shaft into the earth, and some ores are found on the surface of the earth by breaking rocks. The colors of gold dust vary depending on the minerals and impurities associated with it, especially since gold dust is never pure and always contains a certain percentage of impurities which affect its color. One of the colors of gold dust is yellow, which occurs when the percentage of impurities in the gold dust is low, with other metals present. The color of gold dust can also be slightly red due to the presence of a significant percentage of impurities that represent other metals mixed with the gold dust. Gold dust is a powder of gold or what is called gold sand, but it is full of impurities other than gold. It is also known as being in the form of a black stone that resembles salt or gunpowder so that it shines when it is exposed to direct sunlight or when light is shined on it in a place. Dark, so gold while it is inside the mines is called dust. As you can see here, this is what it looks like and you can find it black and very shiny when exposed to the sun, or you may find it full of impurities. Here we will weigh silver dust, also known as silver nitrate, silver chlorides, or other names. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. This is a good method to determine whether this tibber contains gold or not. It is a very effective method for all types of ore. Silver dust acts first as a collector of gold and secondly speeds up the extraction of gold from the tibber and also you can use it to collect gold from ore. Roasting is a process of heating of sulfide ore to a high temperature in presence of air. It is a step of the processing of certain ores. More specifically, roasting is a metallurgical process involving gas-solid reactions at elevated temperatures with the goal of purify the metal component S. After thorough roasting, we will add silver dust to the roasted ore. It should be placed directly in the center to quickly gather the gold in the middle and form it into a gold and silver ingot or ingots. Since this is an educational video on testing for the presence of gold in placer deposits, I explained what happens during each process, especially the smelting. It is preferable for the smelting process to take place in a high temperature furnace. First, you need a cylindrical crucible for melting gold. 
Cylindrical crucibles for melting are made of graphite or clay with high thermal resistance. Graphite, for example, can withstand temperatures up to 2,500 degrees Celsius, making it a safe material for gold production. The melting point of gold is 1943 degrees Fahrenheit or 1060 for degrees Celsius, which means a lot of heat is required to melt gold. Therefore, it makes sense to choose a special crucible for this purpose to withstand such a high amount of heat. Always pay attention to safety tips and do not forget safety accessories and equipment. The process of melting gold can be extremely dangerous as it is done at a very high temperature. If you are a beginner and have no experience in preparing molten gold, make sure to consult experts. Remember to wear special glasses and face shields. Don't forget to wear heat-resistant gloves as well. One very important point in the gold melting process is not to do it near flammable devices. You definitely don't want anything to catch fire. Additionally, you will need pliers, a face shield, and heat-resistant gloves to remove gold impurities and clean the gold, as well as an appropriate heat source. Before melting gold, its impurities and contaminants must be removed. Crucibles are used for this purpose. Any compound that causes the separation of metallic impurities is called a flux, and one of the most commonly used flux compounds is borax and sodium carbonate, which are used in the process of melting gold and other metals. If the gold you want to melt contains a lot of impurities, you should use more flux. Using flux causes the gold particles to adhere to each other and not separate, but the impurities and contaminants are separated, resulting in pure molten gold. The gold was brittle, indicating the presence of harmful impurities such as sulfur, antimony, tin, zinc, and so on. In such cases, purification of gold or silver is necessary, which can be done through various methods. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos.